السلام علیکم مائی فرینڈس مائی سیلف سروش احمد اینڈ آئی ویلکم ٹو آل آف یو ٹو دا اسمارٹ اینڈ جینئرس یوٹیوب چینل ان دا پریویس ویڈیو وی ہیو ٹاک اباؤٹ اے شیپ انٹینا ڈیزائن ان سی ایس ٹی اینڈ ٹوڈے وی اسٹڈی وی لرن ہاؤ کین وی ڈیزائن بی شیپ اینٹینا یوزنگ سی ایس ٹی اسٹوڈیو سوٹ واچ دا ویڈیو ٹل اینڈ سو یو کین انڈرسٹینڈ efficiently so I firstly open the CST design environment and uh, I click on the new template and click on the microwave antennas and next as I'm going to design a uh, B shape patch antenna so I click this option uh, time domain click next and I I want to design uh, the operating frequency to to Uh, 10 gigahertz and I want to simulate and check the simulation and results and E field H field and far field and uh, I want to check at 246 8.6 uh, and 10 gigahertz frequency so I write here and click next I write the name B shape antenna click finish now the template has been created uh, first I zoom it out and uh, go to the modeling option and choose the local WCS this is the V this is the U and this is the W position I first make a substrate and set the dimensions uh, first I let you know uh, you mean uh, these are the names you mean U max V mean V max W mean and W max and if we look here uh, this is the V and in this direction this is V max and the downward direction this is the in the downward direction this is the V minimum and this is the right direction this is the U max W max and W minimum okay so I set the dimensions um, minus 15 to 15 this is the uh, width of the substrate and the length is minus 25 to 25 this is the width of the substrate and I this is the length and uh, the thickness I uh, select here 0.2 and the material FR4 Lossy and preview it and uh, this is the uh, substrate I click OK the substrate has been design uh, created uh, now I want to make ground on its back so I pick and move my LWS uh, CS there and cho choose a brick and write ground and using the same dimensions as I use in the substrate same dimensions no any changing just uh, we can change the thickness of the ground with respect to the substrate um, plus 25 and uh, thickness I choose here uh, 0.3 and uh, sub uh, material PEC perfect electric conductor okay click OK no I want to make a antenna on the uh, substrate so I move the WCS there and choose a brick B shape antenna and uh, I want I want its uh, width minus uh, 10 millimeter and uh, 10 millimeter it is the width of this antenna and the length I am going to choose uh, minus uh, 20 minus 7 I want it on this side that's why I choose this dimension
no this is the antenna we can also select minus 22 minus 7 to 22 no uh, the thickness uh, I choose 0 0.025 and the material uh, copper click ok this is the antenna no I'm going to give the shape like B B shape so I have to cut it from the center so I move my WCS there and choose a brick and give it uh, give the name cut box one and uh, I want to cut it above V so I choose the thickness I take its thickness minus 7 to 5 and the V minimum the length uh, 12 to 3 and uh, as the thickness of the uh, antenna is 0 0.25 that's why I want to cut it uh, I choose minus 0 0.025 it will cut automatically and the material vacuum so I want to cut here I click OK uh, I click OK and uh, none to all OK so I want to make this circular shape so for circular shape I choose the cylinder first I move my WCS on this so can I easily make its circular shape I choose the cylinder and uh, give the name cut circle 1 and give uh, take the radius of about 4 millimeter and first uh, you should know this is the uh, here are the names u center v center and this is the u center this is the v center if I take positive value our circle will move towards right and if I take negative value the circle moves towards left if I take positive value of the V then it moves towards top and if I take negative value it moves towards down ok so I move uh, I make this want to make the circle uh, at the origin so and uh, cut it wants to cut it from the antenna so I take its thickness minus 0 0.025 and make its radius large so that its shape like circle U center ok I move it by adding 0 0.8 and now I 0.9 uh, I choose 5 I think it's perfect I click OK none to all OK no the next I want to transform the B shape uh, B uh, the box cut box and cut circle in the downward so I select it make a copy in the downward direction I select minus 15 and preview it this is the perfect so I apply it and cut away highlighted shape no I again transform cut circle transform make a copy and same dimension minus 15 and preview it and apply and cut away highlighted shape no I want to cut the box and circle from the B shape antenna so I click B shape antenna uh, subtract press control pre uh, click and press enter
now we can see uh, we have a shape like B now the next step is to make a feed line so I move the WCS in the middle of the substrate so I again choose brick give the name feed give the name feed and take its width minus 1 to 1 millimeter okay and its length minus 25 to minus 5 millimeter and the uh, thickness 0 0.025 same as the antenna so uh, we change vmax minus 7 and preview it so it's perfect now the field line has been created now the next step is to uh, create a port so I select I pick the edge of the field line and I already calculated the parameters for the uh, waveguide port 992.55 and preview it click OK this is the waveguide port the waveguide port has been created and the next step is to do simulation and check the results so I start simulation and will wa I wait for the results I think so results will be good let's see what happens my next videos will be in English transcription I hope you will understand my language and the simulation may takes 5 to 10 minutes or maybe 2 to 5 minutes as the design is simple I hope it will take 2 to 3 minutes let's wait for the results now the simulation has been done now we first check 1D results uh, as parameters uh, this is the S parameters I click on the curve makers markers and check where our antenna is resonating it is resonating at uh, 8 point about 8.6 gigahertz and uh, 7.6 and 2.72 gigahertz now I check VSWR and at 8.696 gigahertz it is about 1.3148 it's good it's not bad so Y matrix uh, this is the Y matrix this is the Z matrix let's check E field edge field and surface current this at 2 gigahertz uh, I animate it at 4 gigahertz uh, 6 and 8.6 gigahertz now I check H field 2 at 4 at 6 and at 8.6 gigahertz the surface current now we can check the surface current uh, add polar form uh, this is the fall field at 8.6 again is high very good gain so this is the designing of the B shape antenna I hope so you will understand uh, how to design B shape antenna and hope so you will try it on your laptop and can easily design it so 
we meet in the next video and the next video we will discuss how to design c shape antenna thanks for watching the video allah hafiz